Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to take Huck's challenge for my top 25 favorite actors, so stick around. So Huck over at Huck's Pop Culture Cafe has done a new challenge. You know, we just had the A to Z challenge, and so he had just recently announced um, top 25 favorite actors challenge, so I'm going to participate in that, show you who my top 25 favorite actors are and what films they are in. Plus there's an ensemble pick at the very end, so stick around to the end to see which one I pick for my ensemble. And I cannot have the same film in this challenge that was in my A to Z challenge. So first up, when I think about this actor, there's a lot of great roles that he's been in, but whenever I think about Michael Keaton, I always think about Beetlejuice. His performance in Beetlejuice was amazing, so that's why I chose him. So Michael Keaton in Beetlejuice. Um, some of these names I may butcher because you know I'm just trying to do this off the cuff. But R Rom Rami Malek, um, his performance in Bohemian Rhapsody was so good, really spot on to um, this particular role. I enjoy Queen's music. And when I saw Rami Malek's uh, performance as Freddie Mercury, I thought it was excellent. So that's the reason why I selected him for this. So when you think about Tom Cruise, you think about Top Gun, you think about um, Mission Impossible. But for the film that I wanted to see him in, and that is Collateral. This is probably one of my favorite Tom Cruise performances. I enjoy seeing Tom Cruise as a villain. You hardly ever get to see that in the in the movies. So I chose Tom Cruise. Okay, for um, my next title, it is for Cary Grant. I enjoy old Hollywood films, and Cary Grant's performance in His Girl Friday is probably one of my favorites. So that's the reason why I selected this particular title for Cary Grant. Um, another great um, actor that is fairly new to acting, I guess, over the past 10 years or so, and that is Michael B. Jordan. I enjoy the Creed films. I enjoy the, um, the Rocky films. So this right here was a good follow-up to Rocky with Creed, and so I picked Michael B. Jordan for this particular um, title. Okay, next up is the performance of a lifetime for Heath Ledger, and that is The Dark Knight. I enjoy a lot of Heath Ledger's films, and when you think of Heath Ledger, this is probably one of the films that comes to mind, so that's the reason why I selected The Dark Knight. Okay, so next up, I do enjoy a good horror film, and I enjoy Bruce Campbell and all the things that he has done, TV and films, so I selected... Um, Bruce Campbell for The Evil Dead. Enjoy that one. Next up, I think, when I think about this person, they've had a long career, a lot of comedies, but when they really started doing some of their better work, that was with some of the drama roles, and so I selected Adam Sandler for Uncut Gems. I, I really enjoyed this film. It was a very big surprise for me. You know, I enjoy Punch Drunk Love, but I think I really enjoyed this one a little bit more than that, so that's the reason why I selected this particular title. Okay, next up is an actor who has been in a lot of good roles, but my favorite role that he has been in is Gladiator. So Russell Crowe in Gladiator is the one I selected for him. Uh, winner of five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, so that definitely had to be selected. Okay, next up is the role of a lifetime for Sir Anthony Hopkins, and that is for his performance as Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs. I enjoy this thriller, one of my favorite films of all time. Of course, I know I have not opened this up yet. I've got um, Silence of the Lambs on a different format that I usually watch. I just kept this one closed because a bag will not fit on it. So, but Sir Anthony Hopkins and Silence of the Lambs. Okay, another um, actor that I've always enjoyed. He hasn't built. He hasn't really been doing much lately, and that is Dustin Hoffman. He's had a lot of good roles, but my favorite role that he's ever done is probably in Tootsie. I enjoyed Kramer vs. Kramer, but I really enjoyed Tootsie more because of the comedy element uh, and the heart that was presented in this. So Tootsie would be um, for Dustin Hoffman. Okay, next up is another comedian that has had a lot of good roles. Um, including Ghostbusters, um, What About Bob, but for 
my Bill Murray pick, I selected Groundhog Day. I can watch Groundhog Day over and over and over again. It's a very simple story, always entertaining. And so Groundhog Day was my pick for Bill Murray. Okay, next up is another actor who has had a lot of films. Um, but the one that I think I liked the most is for Liam Neeson, I selected The Grey. If you've never seen the movie The Grey, it was a very, um, a very good watch. Lots of um, suspense. The ending was a little bit off for me, but I do understand it, um, and I enjoyed it. So my pick for Liam Neeson would be The Grey. Okay, another outstanding performance for this particular actor. Um, Christian Bell has had a lot of good films, a lot of interesting roles. Um, you know, he changes his weight for different roles, but I really enjoyed his performance in American Psycho, so I selected Christian Bale for American Psycho. I've always enjoyed this film. I enjoy a good thriller, and I enjoyed the time period that this was set in, so American Psycho was my pick for this. Okay, next up is a film... Th next up is a f actor in a film that now every single time I see this actor or hear this actor, it always brings up this particular film, and that is Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. Every time I see Ryan Reynolds now, I always think about Deadpool. I thought he did excellent in this particular role. I do hope we get to see more films with him in it for this particular character, but Deadpool for Ryan Reynolds. Okay, one of my favorite movies of all time, a really good western, and that is Hell or High Water. So out of these three actors, which one did I select? Well, Ben Foster's um, Ben Foster's role in Hell and High Wa Hell or High Water is probably my favorite. Of course, I like Jeff Bridges, um, but I think Ben Foster really stole the movie, and so that's the reason why I selected Ben Foster for Hell or High Water. Okay, when you think about actors, you also have child actors, and for this particular child actor. Um, if you hear the name Macaulay Culkin, you always think about Home Alone. So my child actor would be Macaulay Culkin for Home Alone. Okay, next up is another performance of a lifetime, and that is Javier ha Javier Bardem. Bardem, I can't speak. But No Country for Old Man. That's one of my favorite films of all time, and I really enjoyed his performance in this film. And so that's the reason why I selected him for this particular title. Okay, next up, Sylvester Stallone is my actor for this particular film. And if you think about Sylvester Stallone, you have to think about Rocky. So I'm selecting Sylvester Stallone for Rocky. I love it. I could watch this over and over again. The Rocky franchise is probably one of my favorites. Okay, next up is Nicolas Cage. You think about Nicolas Cage, there has been so many good movies and so many terrible movies, but my favorite Nicolas Cage film is Face Off. So I really enjoyed his performance in Face Off, and so that's the reason why I selected Nicolas Cage in Face Off. Okay, next up is a pretty new and upcoming actor. He's been in a few roles, but the favorite role of mine for him, for Bill Skarsgård, is Pennywise in the It films. He plays this Pennywise character perf to perfection. Very creepy looking Pennywise. I really enjoyed his performance. So that is the reason why I chose Bill Skarsgård. Okay, this next actor is Daniel Craig. He has been in a lot of films, but most famous for me that I like to see him in is in the James Bond role as 007 and Skyfall is the film that I selected for him. The reason I selected Skyfall is because I love the James Bond films, but there was a period of time where I didn't watch them as often as I used to, and this is the first time I went back to the theater to actually see a James Bond film, so that's the reason why I, it holds a special place in my heart for James Bond, and that's Skyfall. So Daniel Craig's performance as James Bond, to me, is probably one of my favorite Bonds. Okay, next up is Keanu Reeves. When I think of Keanu Reeves, you have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and all of his other great performances. But now, whenever I think about Keanu Reeves, I always think about John Wick. I enjoy John Wick. These are some very fun films to watch. 
So I chose Keanu Reeves for John Wick. Okay, another film from my childhood growing up, I think from 1978, when we first got our when we got our very first Superman film, and that is Christopher Reeve and Superman the movie. Um, I remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out. The only time we ever saw Superman was on TV in black and white or in the cartoon. So it was so good to see this character come to life on the big screen. And so that's the reason why I chose Christopher Reeve for my actor. Okay, lastly for the 25th um, title for my actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's had some really great performances. I enjoyed What's Eating Gilbert Grape and a lot of his other films. But I think this right here is a film that he probably had his best role in. And so The Wolf of Wall Street is the one that I selected for um, Leonardo DiCaprio. So those are my 25 actors. Now I'm going to move on over to my um, um, ensemble pick. So I needed to choose a film that had mostly male actors in it. So I think I did a good job of that. And I selected Young Guns. So for Young Guns, of course, we have Charlie Sheen, Lou Diamond Phillips, Kiefer Sutherland, Emilio Estevez, and a cast of all these other um, gentlemen. So that is my ensemble, my ensemble pick. So those are my films that I selected for my actors. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the actors that I selected. And also, let me know what some of your recommendations would have been, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. If you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.